everyone, it's Marika again with another tech video. Today I'll be talking about ESD and that stands for electrostatic discharge. In my last video I didn't really explain that. I actually cut that out because the video was getting pretty long and I've decided to make this as a separate video especially since my friend Keith Saunders felt like it was really important for me to explain and I didn't. So here it goes. Electrostatic discharge is very important because it's the one thing that can really ruin your computer when you're working inside of it. It can blow it up and it won't work anymore and we don't want that to happen. So there's a few things that you can do to actually fix that problem or prevent that from happening. And I am going to show you those things. The first thing that you want to do, absolutely, absolutely, and I should have showed you in the last video when I was up, upgrading memory, is that you want to make sure, and I know I put this in the notations, but you want to make sure that you unplug the computer completely. And then, you know, well, of course, turn it off and unplug it. Don't, don't do the opposite. But yes, turn it off and unplug it. And then the second thing you can do is to ground yourself, you can stand and sit your computer up level to you up on a chair or a table. You can work on it that way. That might be something better for you. However, if you don't want to stand and you have problems with your back, you can also use a grounding mat and you can get those from the store. You can just ask. But a grounding mat, you can sit down and work on your computer. Now, to be absolutely, completely safe, which is what my friend had mentioned, and I didn't have on. I had on through part of the video, but you didn't see it because I cut it out. But um, you really, really want to use an ESD strap, and this is what it looks like. And you put it on your wrist. See? and then you put it onto the computer. Now, if you are unsure of how to use it and where to put it, because I don't have a computer in front of me, you can go to a store. Um, I believe I got this at Walmart, but you can get this at Best Buy, Office Max, Office Depot. I think Office Depot, I could be wrong, but I know Office Max has it, and I know for sure Best Buy has it, and I do believe I got this at Walmart. And that, you know, you can just check online too. You can put an ESD strap and this will show up. Exciting, exciting name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, that's one thing that you can do and you can sit, stand, whatever you need to do with it. But I encourage you to actually have all your jewelry off, which if you go back to the last video, I had jewelry on. But if you become to know me, you will understand that my personality being a Scorpio that I am a little bit of a rebel <laughs> and I've been doing this for 10 years so I kinda have my rhythm I do it the way I wanna do it and that's not good do not do as I do and I will do a whole lot better in the next videos that I do for you, you so you make sure all your bear make sure you take off your necklace too just take off everything because there's certain things that will cause electrostatic. Um, also, the other thing that you can do is make sure that you don't have anything wool on because if you've learned anything in science, that causes static too. It's, it's kind of like um, when you're on the phone and you're pumping your gas and you feel that shock, that's what you can feel while you're working in your computer. Now, even if you're not doing that um, and, you, and you don't feel the, st the, the shock, the static, that still means that there could be something wrong with the computer so you still need to do all these things just because you don't feel the shock doesn't mean that you didn't shock your computer or yourself so those are the things that you absolutely want to do also bonus and it's common sense but do not try to fix your computer when there's bad weather that's no good um, if there's thunder and that kind of thing you have no business uh, trying to fix your computer, you have lots of business to probably cuddled underneath your bed and um, underneath your sheets and, and, um, and kind of trying to relax and staying away from windows. But um, if you must, if it's a must while it's bad weather, which I don't recommend, do these things that I told you. 
And um, I, I'm again, I, I apologize for not showing you this during the video while um, installing memory. But I think this is a good idea to have this separate so you can refer back to it. And I'll try to link it with the annotations every time I do a video so all of you know to prep first before you actually go in and fix the computer. But those of us who have been fixing computers for a long time, we don't think about um, telling people that those extra things. And so I have to get better with that, and I will. And so just bear with me. But thank you again for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. As I always ask, subscribe to this video or this channel if you like this video. And also add me as a friend if you like me. And if you have any comments, good or bad, I'm trying to improve, add them at the bottom of this video. And if you want to write me personally as well, um, as some of you have already, I do try my best to respond to everyone. And uh, again, thank you. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.